Alright guys, it's CK here and welcome to this video in which I aim to help you with little tips to try and get the brand new Forza Fawn car, the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Now in order to do that, you need to do three Ebizu style skill points. Now what this involves is, as you can see in the gameplay right now, you need to get a great drift or an awesome drift and then go over a jump basically right after you get the great or awesome drift and maintain a great air or awesome air skill and that is how you're going to get the Ebizu style because you need to flow it very very well together you don't leave a lot of time between it you need to make it sharp you need to make it quick this is one of the best roads to do it it is on the drift zone just outside of the outback festival and you can easily hit yourself off of this little hill right here and gain quite a lot of air so that is the way to do it guys it might take you a few tries but just keep doing it and you will get it so all you have to do now is either go back to Horizon Hub or go into the car menu and just scroll down to Porsche and it'll be sitting there waiting for you. So yeah, 500 horsepower on this thing, big Porsche SUV, not the best looking vehicle ever but I have tried to change that with a little bit of metal flake red and with the black rims which looks very very nice indeed. So we're going to go ahead and take this thing out for a drive right now just to see how well it actually handles and how much I like it. So here we are out on the open road of Horizon 3 with the Cayenne and we're going to be doing something that not a lot of Cayennes do in their lifetime even though it is kind of set up for it, it is going off road man because we all know that Cayennes are bought by football mums and rich ones at that because this car is very expensive in real life but let's have some fun with this thing, let's have some fun, see how it does down this epic, epic freaking rally route right here, man. I mean, if only this road was tarmac, seriously, us drifters would be having a ball. But here we are talking about drifting, and we're in a big SUV. <laughs> oh, man, but I, I think it would do pretty good if you, you will drive swapped it, but nah, nah, it's a big SUV. Keep, keep them four-wheel drive, man. Keep them four-wheel drive. Break, 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 break. You can get the horse out a little bit, I never expected that because this thing is pretty damn heavy. It weighs 4,784 pounds or in kilograms that is 2,169. So she's a heavy beast. She is a heavy beast and you can still slide it around pretty well which is awesome. And I have to say the colour which I mentioned just suits this thing so nicely with like the black accents and everything. I would have loved to see the GTS come in because that does provide a lot more of a growly sound, especially if you've watched like Water Trends videos on it. So nice. This one does put out a nice growl, man. Kinda, it's kind of that sort of Porsche howl, but obviously not in the flat six. I do believe this is actually a V8 in this, but yeah, very very nice sounding car. Not the best, but it is pretty good. Here comes the big water splash, let's go, get over it, jump it! <laughs> this is a surprisingly fun car to drive man and I wasn't expecting that so let's jump into the interior. Not the nicest Porsche, I mean I prefer the Macans because that is obviously a more up to date car. This one was out in 2012 whereas the Macan I believe was 2014, might be wrong, might be 2015, maybe a wee bit later. But yeah, for a big thing like this, on the tarmac down these twisty sections right here, it sure as half, <laughs> it sure as half has some grip, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you do need to keep in mind the weight because, as you can see right there, that is is kind of wanting to push out. But the other numbers include a 0 to 60 time of 3.9 seconds and a top speed of 179 miles an hour and as I said it has 500 horsepower and 516 foot pounds of torque so you can pull basically anything. It's a monster. It is a complete and utter monster. Speaking of monsters, here comes a monster jump. Oi! <laughs> oh man, this thing eats it up. 
uh, freaking eats it up man but let us know in the comment section below guys what do you make of the Cayenne Turbo I'm not too sure if they're going to be bringing out a brand new Cayenne very soon I would personally like it because as I said, it's not the greatest looking thing in the world, it is a major improvement over the old one though. So one thing we will do then, is enter it in a cross country sprint race, just to see how it compares to some other cars in this sector. Now the McCann is in here, obviously that is a little bit smaller than this, and it's not as powerful though, that's the thing, we have the power advantage on that, but got other cars like the Range Rover, Lamborghini Urus, I think that's uh, I don't even know what that is, camouflaged up there man, I think it's a G-Wagon, it does look like a G-Wagon, but basically all of the luxury SUVs in this game. Okay, okay, Mr. Lamborghini, you're gonna have to go out my way pal, holy oh, moly, through the river we go, it does carry quite a bit of speed through there, you do normally get that in some cars where it's just like, uh, and it just drops all the speed, but no, nope, since this thing is quite high rising, or quite high riding I should say, it copes very nicely. Yeah it does, it feels quite, not, I wouldn't say skittish, but you know what I mean, you need to correct the steering quite a lot in this car, if you know what I mean, when you're going off road. Because in, in some other SUVs, oh god, ooh, like the, the Range Rover and that, it plows straight and true, but this thing, as you can see I'm needing to do quite a lot of corrections, that is kinda under, kinda, kinda, what's the word? Uh, kind of sketchy, let's just say that. Break, 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 break. The brakes are good though, that's a plus point. The brakes are absolutely fantastic through there. Compared to that G-Wagon, we get stopped so much quicker. Break, break, break. Look at that! Man, for the size of this thing, Jesus! That is astronomical brakes. Go over the jump. Oh shit! <laughs> that jump's a bastard sometimes. I know we went over it about two minutes ago, but. It can be a bit of a pain if you go at it in a blooming different angle or like a wrong direction. The first impressions, it's actually decent. I wasn't expecting much out of this car, but if you want a cool off-roader which you can just cruise around in, I'd highly recommend this alongside the Bentley Bentayga and the Jaguar F-Pace. So yeah, very very nice car and we're coming up to the end of the race right now, so it's a little bit of a plus that we have won the race, we're going to win unless Something magically happens, like a game crash or something. God damn it, it better not happen. Don't you do it, Xbox. Don't you do it, Sunny Boy. There we go, that's it. <laughs> but it's a very smooth car to drive. As I said, a little bit sketchy when you do go off-road, but yet again, it's kind of weird how this was a car. It's an SUV, which you automatically think would be good off-road, but in this instance, it's quite sketchy. I'm not saying it's bad off-road, because it is pretty good, but you can tell that it is suited to that more football mum style of like cars and everything in, in actual category. But overall it is pretty fun and I think you guys to check it out for this week's Forza Phone. It is on until Monday so you get the whole of the weekend to do it and as I said just follow the steps like I done at the start. It is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. I'll see you in my next video guys coming tomorrow as always. Me and the big Porsche. Bye bye.